Hello could be a community. In this video we will see how to install and run the OpenShift Web Console in a native Kubernetes cluster. The OpenShift Web Console is a friendly web user interface that with its deep integrations with Kubert allows us to create, manage and delete virtual machines from a web browser. We have found two options to run the OpenShift Web Console to manage a Kubernetes cluster. One is compiling and executing the web console as a binary, which is more developer focused and which we have been talking in a previous video. If you are interested, just click on the video link shown above. The other method, which we are going to talk, is executing the web console as a native Kubernetes application in a pod. Let's start to describe the steps needed to run the OpenShift web console as a native Kubernetes application. First, grant you cluster admin permissions so that you can create applications and other objects in the Kip system namespace. Since the web console runs as the default service account and requests cluster admin permissions to view and edit all Kubernetes objects, we suggest to create a specific service account for that purpose. First, create the console service account. Then, Assign to it cluster admin permissions. Now, let's check the different container images available of the Open Ship Web Console. As you can see in the official image repository, there are several tags. Notice that the latest tag corresponds to version 4.4 instead of 4.5. Now, download the Kubernetes definition file of the OpenShift Web Console application. You can download the file directly to your computer from the link created in the Kubeer block, or you can just copy and paste the deployment and service definitions from there. Note that you will need to modify the YAML file to match your cluster configuration. Modify the YAML definition. See that the OpenShift Web Console version to be deployed is 4.2. Add your cluster IP and the token linked to your newly serviced account called Console. Notice that the service definition below makes the console reachable outside of the cluster by means of a service node port. Create the deployment and service objects defined in the YAML file. Verify that the service has been created as node port listening in the socket previously defined. Then, wait for the console pod to be in the running state. Write down the IPs of the cluster members. They will be needed for connecting to the web console. Finally, connect to the OpenShift web console. Notice that the connection is going through the worker node to port 336 TCP. See that you can now manage a VM already deployed through the web browser. Now, let's see how easy it is to upgrade the OpenShift Web Console. Edit the console deployment definition and replace the image tag version by the version you would like to deploy. Then, wait for the end of the rolling upgrade process. Reconnect to the new version of the OpenShift Web Console. Notice that, this time, the connection is going through the master node and the look and feel of the console has slightly changed. Finally, see that you can still manage the VM already deployed. Thank you for watching.